Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sammy here. So today I'm gonna introduce the eHome Camera 2 and the comparison with the Nest. So in this video, it includes uh, unboxing. The second is the appearance comparison and tutorial and the refuge comparison and day and night and conclusion. So first of all. So this is the package of eHome Camera 2. The whole style is just the E style with the strap here and the, some highlights there. The specifications and uh, the company info and the QR code here. You know, so that's pretty much about it. So let's go inside. So, oops. Here is the uh, eHome camera to the self and let's see uh, what's inside. So this uh, this is the English menu and it will have other languages very soon I'm pretty sure. So yeah nothing there. So we have this uh, adapter, but yeah, it will come with your local adapter, you know, according to different zones. And finally, this cable. Yeah, nothing left. So that's the package of this eHome camera too. Yeah, that's. Uh, Pretty much the same about a Nest camera, but includes the pedestal and the screws. It's really hard to say which design is better. You may favor the Nest job style design, but uh, some may like the succinct and elegant design of eHome camera. So I will just leave it to you. And noticing that Nest can rotate 360 degree and it can be disassembled. Uh, well, e-home camera is 180 degree. You can open the back case. The SD card will be inserted there. So that's for eHome camera, well for Nest it's uh, pretty much the same but the thing is the video always lag like, behind about 2.5 seconds. At first I thought it's the internet problem, but turns out not. You can check the review video from the tested channel. Ready, three, two, one, go. Two. 2.5 seconds, yeah, 2.41 seconds. Thank you. 
So as you can see with Umbrella Cortex A9 processor, eHome Camera 2 captures much better video quality than Nest. And don't mention those reliable fancy features, and some of them are tech breakthroughs in the smart camera industry. And the most sad thing for Nest is you have to pay to download or view history videos. That means you have to pay like 200 bucks for the camera and then another 100 to 150 bucks to get the so called Nest Aware plan because all of the videos are on cloud. When I first used Nest, I just don't know this, so I emailed them, but you know, the email is even wrong from the Nest official YouTube channel. But for e camera, just pay 130 bucks. That's all. No annual fee. And all of your videos will be on your SD card, and you will always get very professional after sale service. So, in my opinion, go for it. Go for e home camera too.